ready everyone welcome to another OBS tutorial on this channel and in today's video I would like to show you how you can remove your background on your webcam without use of the green screen so let's go for it first of all we have to download and install the plugin for the background removal for this you have to go towards the site you will have link in the description of this video then you will click on the source code URL towards the github like this and here you will simply scroll down you will find the download section and you will click on the official site now as we are on the official site you will choose whether you want to download it for your windows for macOS, or for your linux in my case i have windows so i will click on this one there you can choose whether you want to also download and install the latest obs but in my case of course i have downloaded and installed the latest version of the obs so i'm going with the download the installer for the windows i will click on this and i will choose where i want to save it as it is already downloaded i can simply open it then of course i will here click on next i will choose the folder where my obs is installed in my case it's in the obs studio obs studio in your case there might be different path so i will click on next i will click on next and install okay as it's already installed i can simply click on finish and the background removal plugin is downloaded and installed successfully now we can simply open the obs okay so as we are already in our obs first of all we want to add our webcam towards the sources so i will click on plus i will click on video capture device and add my existing source what is my webcam voila now as we want to remove our background on my webcam i will simply right click on my camera source so right click i will go to filters and here below the effect filters i will click on plus and background removal okay and here basically as you can see we got the background removal effect in the default it's not perfect but you got all of those settings below to choose and to set up to make the final result as good as possible first of all what you want to do is find the best segmentation model depending on your video format and your lighting conditions media pipe is default and usually works best in most of the situations but of course you want to try all of those settings below to see which of them fits your current situation the best this one is really not great for me because as you can see it selects also this big white area right next to me so in my case i'm going with the pp human seg as soon as you found the best segmentation model for you then you want to play with all of those settings around to delete the background as much as possible if you disable threshold you will save some cpu usage be aware that the background removal plugin takes quite a lot of performance out from your pc therefore if you disable threshold you can save some cpu or gpu usage so you can try it firstly with disable threshold and if you are not satisfied with the final result you can check the threshold once again and play with all of the parameters in case we are talking about the parameters you want to play with three main the threshold basically the increasing of threshold will allow more of the background to be included in the removal process and vice versa that means the lower threshold will allow more of the foreground to be included in the removal process the smooth silhouette is basically smooth parameter that will smooth the contour of the background thanks what you can get rid of jagged edges and produce more rounded segmentation effect the feeder blend silhouette blur the edges of the removed area to reduce hard borders and also of course you can choose whether cpu or gpu will work on a removal plugin effect next we got here cpu threads basically more threads you choose more threads will be allocated for the background removal plugin and therefore it will be faster but also it will impact your pc much more if you choose zero it will choose the number of threads it will use automatically and in majority of cases it uses all of the threads what can cause performance issues so watch out for that thanks to one of the most recent updates of this plugin you don't have to choose the background color anymore therefore you don't need to use the chroma key later as well basically down there you got the blur option at the default it's zero what basically means it deletes the background completely and whatever is behind your webcam will be on your deleted background in case you are moving with the slider you can basically blur your original background the higher value of the blur will of course blur your background much more and as i said the default will simply delete your background 
In my case, you can see that there are quite few problems with the deleting of my background. The main problem is that I'm capturing myself from the top left camera position, what means that basically my body is placed in the multiple places of the depth of the camera. What I mean by that is that my left shoulder is basically closer to the camera and my right hand is further from the camera. For this plugin, the best way you can do is when you are recording or streaming yourself from the front, what means that you are staying straight in front of the camera. Thanks what it can easily pick what is in the front and what is at the back of the video. But in my case, as I'm recording myself from the side, it's quite hard to find the best possible settings to remove the background completely. In your case, of course, you can find the better result. You may not be recording this with the snapback as I do, what cause some problems as well. And also, of course, you can have better camera or better lighting. Thanks what the removing of the background can be even easier and better in your case. For me, this what I get is actually okay and I'm going with the blur background. Thanks what my original picture will see more focused on myself and my background will be actually blurry. So in the end, I believe this might be all right for the current situation, for the current position of the camera. I believe that this is the best possible result for me at least. I look more focused on the camera because I'm in the foreground and my background is actually blurred. What is quite a good feature which I can actually use in my streams or in my videos as well. Of course, you can also play with the blur focus down there and try whether you can set it up to focus for yourself even better. But in my case, I'm going with disable this one and I believe that this is it. In case, of course, you want to delete your background completely, as I said already, it's best when you are recording yourself from the front. That means that all of the deep level are easily recognizable by the webcam. And, but in my case, as I'm recording myself from the side, I'm going with this. Of course, in case you want to just delete your background, you will go with the blur on the zero, as I said, and now you can close this and basically put behind you whatever you want. So in my case, let's say that I would like to put there any kind of gameplay. So let's try like this. I will put it behind my webcam. So in the end, it will look like this, okay? I'm streaming. I don't have green screen, but I removed my background and you can basically see all of my game while I'm just here, you know? So it's not so bad in the end. You can, you can play with the settings and reach out the even better results than I did, but I think for free and without the use of the green screen is the best possible way that you can actually use to remove your background. So let me know in the comment section what do you think about this plugin and whether it has any kind of use for you, for your streams, for your videos or anything else. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. Really hope you found it what you were looking for. Hope you are good and video fine. Thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time.